Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean from Space Shark Studios and I'm here to teach you visual scripting in Godot 3.1. Let's get started. In the previous lesson, we taught you how to make a ball scene. So as you can see, we now have the main scene and the ball scene. And the ball scene is open here. If it's not open, you can either select this little button and it will open it up or you can go and find your scene and double click it. So what are we going to do now that we have a ball? Well, first off, we want the ball to be a rigid body. So what rigid body means is that in physics, it will be treated like um, just to say anything, any normal object that you can think of. It doesn't actually exert any force. It doesn't push against things, but it can be pushed around. And if it runs into something, then it will push that, but it will have an equal and opposite, you know, laws of physics sort of thing. So to do that, let's add, and we want to say rigid body 2D. So now we have a rigid body 2D. That's it, right? No, we have this little warning. So when you click on the warnings, it will bring up what the problem is. So the node has no shape, so it can't collide or interact with any objects. And they tell you what you should do. So we are going to add a collision shape 2D. So right click, add child nodes. Right, it said collision shape 2D. And we're good, except we're not. So once again, a shape must be provided for collision shape 2D to function. We need to create a shape resource. So with this selected, with the collision shape selected, go over to the inspector and you can see shape. There's a drop down and we want to make a new rectangle shape 2D. So that is how we are going to make this into a shape. So if you zoom in, you can now see that it has a shape. To add to this, let's go ahead and right click, add a child node, and let's add a sprite back in there. We're going to drag the icon into the texture, and you can see this, this looks way too big. So let's go ahead and shrink this down so that it fits this collision shape 2D. Now a trick you can use here, since you can't really see the collision shape 2D on top of the sprite, if you change where they are in this scene hierarchy, it draws one on top of the other with the lowest on this list being the one that draws on top. So that can help you line things up. So if we wanted to say, make this bigger, and then have this collision shape match. That's how we would go ahead and do that. So now we have a ball. If we press play, we can see that it falls. And that's right. That's exactly what we want to do. So let's put the ball over here in the center. And I just realized this isn't really right. We don't want a rectangular ball. So let's go ahead and make a new circle instead. Select this over here and make it that big. So control S and now we have a ball and we have a ball that doesn't really do anything. So we need to make a platform. So just like before, let's go ahead and say add child node. And this time, instead of making a rigid body or even a node, let's go ahead and make a static body 2D. So what a static body 2D does is it doesn't move and nothing can move it. So it will not fall. Um, you can't move it at all with an outside force. And that's exactly what we want for 
a platform. So let's go ahead and save that branch off. Go inside, right click, add child node, and once again, we need a collision shape 2D. This one will use a rectangle. So if you double click, it will focus it. Let's go ahead and add a sprite to this as well. With the sprite object. And we can say, all right, let's make this a bit smaller. Let's make this, oops, a bit wider. And then that doesn't look much like a platform, does it? So let's go ahead and make this a little bit wider. Like I said, drag that on top so you can actually see how wide you want to make this. That looks like a platform, right? Let's see if it does. It does enough. All right, so now we have two physics objects, a platform and a ball. So let's see what happens. Perfect. Let's try one more thing. And now we have a ball. That was it. Awesome, right? Well, in the next lesson, we will start actually scripting so that we can control this ball and then move on to controlling a player. Thank you for watching Space Shark Teaches. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and remember to click the bell to always stay up to date. Please also join us on our Discord, linked in the comments, and check out our other videos if you ever want to see what else we've been up to. Thanks again for watching, and we can't wait to see what you make.